Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a data extraction and automation platform called Hexamatic. Now, in this Hexamatic review, I'm going to walk you through exactly what this platform can do, exactly how it works, and by the end of the video, you should know if it's right for you. And if you are thinking about getting Hexamatic, I've also left a link in the description. And if you use that link, you'll also be helping support this channel. Okay, so first of all, what is Hexamatic? It is a data extraction platform, kind of like a web scraper, and this allows you to extract bulk amounts of data from the internet. Now it does also have an automation element to it, so if you wanted to go ahead and then take that data and manipulate it in different types of ways, this has got multiple options for that as well. So this is perfect for people who are in sales if you're trying to get contact information for certain types of industries. It's also perfect for marketers if you're trying to find companies that you're trying to actually market to in local areas or pop up for local search terms and it's also great for people who run websites because you can scan websites you can see who's linking to and from them as well as multiple other things so hexamatic is perfect for saving time on day-to-day -day tasks now what i'm going to do is in instead of trying to explain it to you i'm going to jump behind the screen and show you hexamatic Okay, so first of all, we'll start here at the Hexamatic website. What I want to do first is run you through some of the use cases of this platform. I'm then going to run you through the pricing of it. There's a few different levels of the pricing. Then I'll finally jump into the dashboard, show you some different templates that are ready for you to use, as well as show you some of the workflows I've created and the results that have been generated. So it's all pretty cool. So first of all, we will go to how it works, come down to use cases here, and we'll just browse through some of the different ideas that they have listed on this page. So first of all, Hexamatic for e-commerce. For example, if you had competitors selling similar products to you and you wanted to see how much they're charging, things like that, you could go ahead, set up a scraping recipe, and you can also schedule these, which is pretty cool. And it's gonna go ahead and add all the information into a spreadsheet, which you can go ahead then and monitor. Another example could be if you're looking for fresh prospects, you could go look on a Google search automation, go ahead, extract the emails, go ahead, find their social media uh, links as well, see what sort of tech they're using on their website, and then you can add all this into a Google Sheet. So you can come through depending on what your industry is and you can find which ones would be suited as clients. So you can go ahead and do that as well. So these are just a few ideas. Find local businesses using Google Maps. I know quite a few people have actually created directories using this particular feature where you can find different industries and in different areas and you can build out your own entire directory, kind of like Yellow Pages uh, or Yelp. You probably know one of those two options, which is pretty cool because you can also run ads. You can also do different things inside of there as well. And for marketing teams, you can reverse dice, uh, reverse engineer competitors' traffic and acquisitions, things like different tech stacks or websites. You can also uh, scrape SEO tags for different URLs. I've gone ahead and done uh, a few accessibility tests as well, which I'll show you in a sec. But that's basically it. You can also check prices, cryptocurrency prices, and loads of different ones as well. So there's plenty inside of here. This is really broad. Um, you can get super niche with all of these. So I'll quickly go over the pricing. And just to let you know, they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you if you do decide to get one of these plans and you find it's not quite right for you, maybe it's not the right platform, you can just reach out to them and they'll go ahead and help you out there. So the different types of plans, we've got monthly pricing as well as annually. Just to let you know, uh, it's about 10 months worth of pricing for the annual. So you do save two months for free. But if you wanted to test out the platform, you can get 75 automation credits for free. You can have one simultaneously running workflow. If you want to get more than 75, 2000 you can get on the bronze plan, $24 a month. It allows you to have five simultaneously running workflows. The silver plan is going to allow you to have 4,500 credits with 10 workflows running at once. And then the gold plan, you can actually uh, increase as well. This is going to give you uh, 10,000 credits with unlimited simultaneously running workflows. So that's pretty cool. That's going to give you plenty of juice inside of the platform. Now, if you come down, there's also this premium credit add-on. This is for specific types of tasks inside of it, things for Google and Google Maps types of data, traffic analysis and things like that require slightly more machine um, power. So they've created what's called the premium credit add-on. And I'll go through that more actually inside of the platform once we get there. 
So let's go ahead, log in and show you what it's all about. So I've been playing around with this just for a day now, as you can see, but I've been having heaps of fun with it so far. Now some other parts of the dashboard that I forgot to mention, so I came back to share, is the pro productive time saved. So it says already I've saved 13 hours, 33 minutes of time. This is what it would have manually taken if I'd have done it myself. So this is what I've saved using Hexamatic. And also down here, automation credits, tells you what plan you're on and how many you have left. Now if you do have premium credits, it's also got how many you have here as well. You can always add more there as well if you want. I'll go through those in a sec. Now on the left on your dashboard, next we have workflows. This is going to be where you're actually piecing a lot of different um, elements together to create a long workflow. For example, scrape data from here. Then once that's happened, I want you to turn it into this or maybe send something here. You know, that type of information. I'll go through those in a sec. That's workflows. We've also got scraping recipes. So this is basically taking data from the internet and then you can use it inside of a workflow. We also have automations, which is kind of like the second part of the workflow. So you've got your scraping recipe. This will take data from the internet. Then your workflow will then push it to an automation, which is going to do something with that data. So I'm just sort of giving you an idea of what everything means. So let me show you how it works. So this is workflows. This is some of the different automations that I've been running. Uh, as you can see, I'm still currently running one, which is the Hexamatic Influencer Details. I'll show you what that is in a second. But inside here is going to be where you can set up all your different workflows. You can then download all the different results inside of here as well once they're completed. So if I come to new workflow, this is where you can start your own automation. Now we've got four options just to run you through them quickly. Data input is if you're uploading your own type of data or if you're just using say a URL to scrape a certain something from a website. So this is where you can do it. You can also upload things like images where you can scan text from it. You can also upload audio files, text PDF and everything like that. Next we have here automations. Now this is perfect for apps or uh, web results, things like that. For example, if you wanted to take information from um, Amazon listings or if you wanted to take from Google search listings, things like that, you can use the automations tab to actually get your data. Or finally, you can use the scraping recipe. What this allows you to do is actually load web pages inside of the scraper and then you can take, say if there was 10 or 20 different results listed in a type of listicle type content, you can actually choose the titles, take all the titles, then you can take, say, the descriptions, the images, um, websites, uh, phone numbers, things like that. So it's really good for actually scraping repetitive content on websites, perfect for websites like Yelp uh, and Yellow Pages, things like that. So let me show you the easiest way to get started using their ready-made workflow library templates. Now inside there, you can either filter it by all the different roles. You can also click on the buttons if you want as well. But to give you an idea of how it works, you can come down here, scroll through and find something that is right for you. You can also come down, keep clicking load more and loading more results. But some that are interesting that I found pretty cool, uh, for example, discover influencers contact details. Now this is one of the uh, automation workflows that I've created just before. And what it's going to do is actually search for different types of keywords on Google. It's then going to find the results, scrape their websites and actually look for emails on their websites. It's then going to see if these websites have been referenced on the internet at all and it's going to list them and then it's going to search the internet for social media profiles to actually match this. So this is perfect for a few different applications, right? For example, if you were in the SaaS industry and let's say one of your competitors has actually come through and uh, they've found a bunch of influencers to create reviews for that particular product. Well, you could go ahead, see who's actually reviewed that particular product based on keywords, of course, and then you could reach out to them and see if they wanna do one on your product as well. Same thing goes for affiliates. So if you're also looking for affiliates to promote your platform, it's the same kind of example, right? It can go out, it can find particular type of information from the internet, things like email scraping and as well as social link scraping. So it's pretty cool because you can see who's doing what inside of different platforms. So that was just a few different examples. You can also run site-wide accessibility audits, which I've done uh, for legit marketing reviews. You can also see, um, whoops, if we come down, find all the pages that link to top ranking websites, so that can help 
um, get different types of backlinks. Same thing here, find all the pages that link to your competitors. So if you're looking to create new backlinks, this one's perfect. Coming down, you can find email addresses and contacts for any domain. So there's loads of different stuff that you can do inside of this website. You can also verify a list of email addresses, which is good if you wanna make your email marketing more effective. So I've gone ahead and had to think about what type of applications I would probably use this platform for. And I came up with these six here, right? So first one is uh, my website feed to AI speech. If I wanted to create, say, a podcast for my blog posts, this is actually one that's listed inside of the Hexamatic Academy, which I probably should have mentioned earlier. This is just going to teach you how to use the platform from beginning. So if you need to get some sort of guidance, make sure you go and check that out. But to give you an idea of what this particular script does, all this workflow, is it's going to take in a, a data input. So I put in my website feed. It's going to use the RSS feed and extract all the data from it using the data input. And then it's going to convert all of the different uh, RSS title, uh, the item title, so the title of the blog post, as well as the description of the blog post. And it's going to turn it using AI into a WAV format or sorry, MP3 format, right? So you can choose different languages as well. I just chose the English Australian. I think there's like multiple different languages you can actually um, put the output as, right? So you can, yeah, you can convert this into different languages. Maybe you want to have different translations on your website. And there's all these different uh, options for type as well. So I went ahead and ran that. And as you can see, um, I'll just go ahead and click leave. As you can see, this is going to be the data that it actually logged when running the process. So it came through, scraped these top articles, and then pulled some information from them. So there's the input. And then if you come to the end, it's got all of the different information, right? So categories, it's also got the RSS title, it's also got the date. And then over on the right here, it's also got the audio files. Now, just to give you an example of what it sounds like, I will go ahead and turn up the sound and just click on the title of this one and then click on the button. Page review, video sales tool. So as you can see, it's just gone ahead and said the title. I'll give you a little snippet of the full article here. So I'll just download that. Quick page review, video sales tool. Do you want to be creative in closing a sale? If yes, then quick page might be the tool that you're looking for. Right, so you can see how it works. It just actually takes the text from the page and then converts it into speech. Now, obviously uh, it's read the title in it as well and there wasn't a break, so it's a little bit fiddly, but once you get down your blog format right, it's gonna be perfect. So that was that little uh, LMR feed to AI speech one. Next one, I thought if I was a social media agency, let's say I had a really good dentist type of social media marketing campaign, I wanna get all of the Auckland dentists emails so I can actually pitch them an email. So what I did was I used this real basic type of automation, right? So Google Maps, Auckland dentist in New Zealand with 100 search results and I only wanted to keep the first 100. You can also limit it if you want or choose more. And then it went and logged all the data and went and scraped all the data here. So you can see it's found emails for all of these different places. Here's a little snippet of the results. If I scroll to the right, then here's all these different email addresses for these different platforms. And if there's more than one email listed, as you can see, there's quite a few for lumino.co.nz. They're all listed inside here as well. So it's pretty cool because you get all of the emails on the website. So that was a pretty cool recipe. It worked really well. So if I come back to my workflows again, what else have I done? Top 10 email backlinks. Basically what I did is I went inside, typed in what are the 10 best email marketing software inside of Google. It came back, I only wanted the top three results because I know there's gonna be thousands and thousands, um, but I just wanted to do it as more of a test for people who say ran a website and were looking for different types of uh, links to actually link to. And then inside here, I wanted to get up to a thousand results for each uh, listing, right? And then from that, I went and scraped all the data in the log. And if we go to the right, here's just an example of some of the pages on these websites that they're linking to. Now, this is not the backlink one. This is the linking externally one. You can also do the backlink one if you're trying to find who's actually linking to the website. So it's really powerful information all at your fingertips and it doesn't take long to actually action. And there's, I think, 3,000 results in that one. It's pretty cool. Now, the accessibility website audit one's pretty cool. I did it on my website once again. 
the results that came out uh, i stopped it after i think 10 results because it, it was i didn't want to use up all the credits just for this um but what it's done if i go ahead and click on one of the audits for the pages as you can see here we've got 66 past rules 14 fails 10 potentials and one manual and if you come down it's just saying hey this is some of the parts that are actually wrong with your page you should fix it and probably probably get better rankings from it if you do so it's pretty cool like it's really in depth it's super thorough it's in a really cool format as well so if you were doing this you could easily put it towards a client and charge them for it as well so that was that um, so there's plenty of good workflows. These are just some some uh, to show you some details. This one is pretty funny. Hexamatic influencer details. I thought why not see who's done a review for Hexamatic. Uh, I did pause it halfway, so I don't actually know if it scraped a bunch of data. Let's see what the log says, and we'll know. Right. So I think I I stopped it before it actually started inputting it into. Um, putting it into the results window or it looks like here a lot of these places don't have uh, emails listed but you can see how many people have actually reviewed hexamatic so far there's loads inside of here so that's that's pretty interesting how they've actually done that so that's an incomplete workflow um, but as you can see it's actually still running right now and the last one is a tech stack so let's just say i found this website planet.com it was ranking for an article it loaded super quick maybe it had an element on it that i wanted to know what it was i went ahead and used the tech stack workflow so data input put in the different websites come down discover tech stack using the data and the data input and then the results you're going to see from here is all of the different information inside of it right so I'll export this one here just to show you what it sort of looks like. Not a lot of people will probably use this, but if you're a web developer, this information is going to just save you so much time instead of having to look through the source code. You can just come inside here. So you can see they're using um, React, Gatsby, Stripe, Google Cloud, Facebook, Webpack, Intercom, Hotjar, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Google Cloud Storage, and Cloudflare. So you can see exactly what this website's built upon. So that's pretty cool how they've done it. Now, just to give you an idea of how the scraping recipes work, just so you know, if you want to click on new recipe, let's just say I'm going to take um, some information from Yelp. So I'll look up Yelp and we'll look up some different restaurants maybe um, in the area. So I'll let that load. Okay, so maybe we'll come up here and we'll look up Mexican. Okay, Mexican restaurants in Auckland. Okay, and I'll click on search. We'll see what appears. Right, so this is the page. These are the results. Now what you want to do is come here and take this link, right, this URL, and you want to copy that, come back to Hexamatic, paste it inside here, and click preview. And what this is going to do is, is actually pull up the web page inside of the platform, and you just start clicking on all the different types of information you want to start scraping. So let's just say I want to take all the titles, click on the titles, click select all, and you can see they're starting to get all highlighted. Now it says here elements 10, and we're going to name this just name, okay, name, and it's going to be a text, so choose text, and it also gives you a sample of what the text is going to be, so you can see it's Mexican Cafe, just like the title there. Now what you can do also is come inside here, and you can click on, say, if you want the um, review, and click on select all once again you could just say uh, top review okay top review and then select once again choose text and this is going to go ahead and scrape the top review maybe area of the restaurant so let's click on the area here which is Auckland this one that one's viaduct so click select all and this is going to be area okay once again there's going to be a text now if they had say phone numbers listed right if they had phone numbers listed on here you could click it and then what you want to choose is just number so it only takes numbers from there same thing with link so i think with um, this you can actually click on the link but it will take you to a yelp uh, page if it was listing straight to their website you could also extract the url inside of it as well which is pretty cool you could even extract the yelp url but you can just click on what you want from the website you choose what it is using the different element type and then it can go ahead and scrape all the info for you so to give you an idea i'll click on save here um, click on save and continue okay 
and now you have a data source that you can start using for different types of services. For example, inside of workflows, how I chose dentist Auckland email, instead of extracting the information from Google, you could start again using the scraping recipe and extract the data from the scraping recipe and then find emails that have been referenced from the scraping recipes. So you can use different types of information everywhere. It's pretty, pretty cool. Now to give you an idea what the premium credits are, once again the premium credits are starting at $4.99 a month, if I click learn more, uh, it gives you 50 premium credit allowance, just know that one automation doesn't necessarily mean one premium credit, when I scraped I think the data from Google on this one it only used maybe uh, 60, 60 cents of one of the credits, 60, yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.60 sorry, of one of the credits. But what it's going to allow you to do, if I click new workflow, data input is on the top here, we've got all premium automations and inbuilt automations. These are what you're going to get with your allowances on the automations here. So uh, 4,500 credits, I'm on the 10,000. So I've got 10,000 credits inside of built-in automations and the premium automations are case by case. And these are different types of automations you can get inside of it, right? You can use the Yelp, you can use things like that. And it's just going to take the data a little bit quicker. Now you can use the built-in automations for more than enough of everything. You can scrape information from the internet easy enough, RSS extractor, everything like that. It's just when you want to use more powerful uh, automations, then you're going to have to use the premium automations tab as well. But that's pretty much it guys, hopefully that's all made sense. Once again, here's all the different types of automations you can use inside of it. One thing I haven't mentioned is it also integrates with third party softwares. For example, Integrately, you can then add in thousands of different types of apps that are integrated with Interact, uh, Integrately into Hexamatic, same with Connexit. I believe Zapier will probably be here then, Zapier's there. You've also got webhooks as well. So you can put information from different platforms into Hexamatic as well. You don't have to scrape it or just use what's listed. So it really expands your mind what you can actually do with this platform. I've really only just scratched the surface. This is something I'm gonna be working on for a very long time. Anyway, that is Hexamatic, guys. Once again, the chat now widget's there if you ever want to chat with the staff. There's also email if you want some help and the pop-up button. I believe there's also a Facebook page as well. What I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen. I just want to talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Hexamatic. Now, as you can see, I've really just scratched the surface of what this tool can actually do. Now, I've only been playing around with it for a few days. However, I've been able to get so much value from it within that time. And I know the longer that I use it, the more I'm gonna get from it. Now, one of the things that this is going to help me with a lot is actually getting information for creating articles. I run a few different websites for different areas and I know that with this tool, it's just gonna save me so much time. I've been trying to teach my VA, but they don't quite understand how to get the right info. Now I can leave it up to machine learning and bots, so it saves me a bunch of time. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Once again, if you wanna get started with Hexamatic, I've also left a link in the description and you'll also be helping support the channel if you use it. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got so many great videos coming out for you in the near future. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next video.